The first step to install NVIDIA graphics drivers is to find out what graphics card you have. To do this, right-click the Windows icon or click Windows key X. Select Device Manager. Inside Device Manager, look for the Display Adapters tab and expand it. Here you can find your graphics cards. And here we can see we have a NVIDIA GeForce GTX 950M. Note this number. You can double-click this and you will get more information on your graphics card. For example, you can see the current date of the drivers that are installed right now. Go to the home page in the description. This is Advanced Search for NVIDIA drivers. Use this site to make sure you get the correct drivers. Select your product here. I got a GeForce 900M series. M is for notebooks and without M is for desktop. Here we can find the GTX 950. Make sure that your graphics card corresponds to the numbers here and you'll get the correct drivers. Then you'll need to select your operating system if you have Windows 10, 64 or 32-bit. If you don't know if you have 32 or 64-bit, go down and right-click on this computer and select Properties. Inside the Properties you can find System Type 64-bit. Here you can select the Windows driver type Standard or DCH. Do not select DCH then you'll get a very bad version of NVIDIA control panel and it probably won't work very well with games. So select standard. Select your language and select all. In this list here you can find the latest drivers. Always go for the uh, most recent driver. If that doesn't work for some reason, do select an older one. Click on this and click download. Wait for the driver to download. When the file is downloaded, run it directly from the browser or go to downloads and run it from there. You can change the location for where the files will be unpacked if you wish to. Usually there is no need to do this. Just click OK and wait for the files to be unpacked to your computer. Now. The driver installation will start. First it will check system compatibility. Now you'll get the first choice to install NVIDIA graphics drivers with the GeForce Experience or without it. I strongly recommend you to not use GeForce Experience uh, as long as you do not use Shadowplay. GeForce Experience tries to keep your drivers up to date automatically but also taxes the system a lot. It's not very hard to do a yearly install of drivers. Select NVIDIA Graphics Driver only, agree and continue. On install options you can select Express or Custom. We will select Custom. Under Custom installation options you can review the packages that will get installed. We can also select to do a clean install. We will select a clean install since we had some issues. This will uh, set all NVIDIA settings to the default and we'll need to do some setup if we do uh, select clean install. If you do not have any problems, you do not need to select clean install, but we will do a clean install in this tutorial. So we check that and click next. The installation process takes some time. Just let it run till finish. It will remove all of the previous drivers and install the new ones. You should not need to uninstall the previous drivers yourself, since this is automatic. Just wait for it to finish. And as you can see, it just finished. And we can see that graphics drivers were installed and uh, we didn't need to update the physics system software. Now we can just click close. Now, since we have performed a clean install, we'll need to right-click on a desktop and select NVIDIA Control Panel. Inside NVIDIA Control Panel, 
we can adjust image settings with preview. I want to get more performance than quality, so I will set it there and click apply. In manage 3D settings, we'll need to go with preferred graphics processor and instead select high performance NVIDIA processor and click apply. We should then go to set physics configuration, select GeForce and click apply. We have now successfully set up our NVIDIA control panel to the correct settings after they were changed during the clean install. Thanks for watching. Do like this video and subscribe for future videos. You can also leave a tip in the links below. Thank you.